Hello and welcome to my very first video vlog. Video vlog vlog. Okay, it's not a video. Anyway, so we're in Indonesia at the moment. We're staying in the lovely Yogyakarta. We were just in Jakarta, and my advice, if you ever get the chance to go to Jakarta, is don't unless you're going to make a hundred grand at least. Is there? But Yogyakarta is lovely. Come check it out. But I want to talk to something something very close to me today that. A lot of coaches out there are going to understand exactly where I'm coming from and it's the problem of the squat toilet. Now we hear a lot about like squatting and it's good for your shitting and a lot of these people talk about colon mobility and the mobility of the internal organs and they don't, I think, don't think they really understand the mobility of the internal organs. If you want to find out more about that or if you know HKJ, you can find that yourself if you want to find some other gifts. But I want to show you something. I want to point out an obvious problem of the squatty potty. So here's our lovely squatty potty in our hotel. Now, if you have tight ankles, so if you look around Indonesia, a lot of these people have like what would be described as a god tier ass to grass squat. In fact, most of them, they're sitting so deep when they're sitting on the side of the street that their ass is probably below the ground if they went to full depth. So it's ass beyond grass squat. And this is great because you could hover your bum hole over the water and drop straight into it. Now, we're in a hotel, right? I need you to picture your stereotypical 40 year old plus Western person here on a holiday who isn't a mover like us and doesn't have good squats and has tight ankles. Very tight ankles. Now, the problem with the squatty potty is twofold with your tight ankles. One, these people are eating a lot of uh, spicy food for the first time. We know what spicy food does to the colon, right? We also know the main problem when someone has tight ankles, they can't squat deep. Correct. Now the coaches out there among you will know what happened when someone can't squat deep. Their squat will turn into more of a hinge and the spicy food will react with their colon in a way that will pebble dash the back wall of the squatty potty. So, when people are promoting all this, we need to, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe bring your Olympic lifting shoes or sell them as an alternate aid for use of the squatty body. Anyway, I'm Emmett Lewis. We're on the Silver Leap Project. This is the first vlog. <laughs>